it's really important to keep these systems cool because listen, all of this stuff back here is really, really important. So what we're going to take a look at together are these big units over here. Now you can see the acronym, the C-R-A-C. This is the computer room air conditioner, pretty easy acronym. Now, if you take a look at these at the bottom, this is the return. This is the thing that's sucking in all that hot air. And then if you take a look toward the top right there, that plenum over there, that's pushing all of the cold air back inside of this facility to keep it nice and cool. Now, these are really, really important units because again, they keep this entire infrastructure nice and cool. Now, there's gonna be multiple ones in this facility. There's actually a couple more over there that again, keep this entire data center room nice and conditioned and functioning really, really well. So now that we know how we keep it cool, let's take a look at the power infrastructure. This is one of the coolest things out there. Let's go take a look. I just showed you those computer room air conditioners. Now, remember what I said, this data center has two different types of architectures. What you see back there is more of an open floor environment. And what we're gonna take a look at right now together is actual containment, hot aisle and cold aisle containment. In this case, you have the hot aisle right here and actually the cold aisle in this design inside of this very cool room. Now it's gonna get a little bit louder in here because we're literally in the inside of a, of a little bit of a containment center. There come the lights. But if you're taking a look at this, this is actually where the cold air is to be ingested inside of these racks and then pushed out to the other side. Now, here's the reality. In some situations, this can be reversed. This is the hot aisle where you take the hot air from these racks and it gets pushed up or out into a different plenum. That's a little space where you can move the air around and you push the air out and you get the cold air in and you get the hot air out. Now, you can design it in a couple of different ways, but in this case, this is where you get the cold air and the hot air is getting pushed out that way. In this kind of facility, you can see that there is containment all the way around this entire room. So this is a good way to contain your environment, to increase your density and also, really important, be able to control your airflow. Now, with that being said, let's go take a look at the power systems and what keeps all of this running. Let's go. All right, everyone, we're going into the electrical room. This is where a lot of the magic happens for the power. We're gonna take a look at PC batteries that are in here right now. These are really, really important battery systems that actually support both the carriers, which you know, telecommunications and internet is really important. We're gonna talk about it in a second, as well as the customers. You can see there's two different set of batteries that are actually really, really critical to keeping this infrastructure up and running. But now let's go see some of the other really important gear, power systems that keep data centers operational. We're gonna take a look at some of the most interesting stuff in a facility. Take a look at this, this is so cool. No, I'm not on the submarine. This is actually something known as switch gear. Now, when utility power, whatever your utility might be, comes into this building to pilot all of that infrastructure out there, it needs to stop somewhere. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first stop you can see right here. You have different types of transfer controls. You have the breaker that goes to the utility, that goes into the generator. I promise we're gonna show you that in just a second. And then out here, it gets distributed into the uninterruptible power supply right here, which I promise I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then also it gets distributed out into the main data hall. So again, literally this is called the switch gear one word for the utility, for the UPS and actually coming in to go support the actual floor of the data center as well. This is power's first stop at a data center.